My name is Greg Deal. I'm a vice president with Granite Rock Company. I've been here for about 22 years and Bruce recruited me after we became friends 35 years ago working for HP in San Diego. The first time I met Bruce was in a phone call three or four months after I started working at HP. And he asked me, hey, I heard you, he, he basically said, I'm volunteering to teach a basic computer class for the production line workers. And I hear you know something about program, programming. Why don't you come and help me teach it? It'll be a lot of fun. And I hesitated at first, but like everything that Bruce talks about where he says, hey, we're gonna go have a lot of fun, it was a lot of hard work, but it was really rewarding. And it just goes to show how consistently he lived his life because even back then at the beginning of his career, he was reaching out to people outside his work group. He cared about lifelong learning and he cared about helping people to, to become better people. And he saw a bigger picture than most people saw and he helped pull you into his version of reality and what the future can be. What do I remember funny or amusing? He just had a really nice sense of humor and he had this sense of playfulness. Um, he, his, in many ways his sense of humor kind of froze when he was a teenager and he just tried to make everything fun. Uh, I'm Kevin Jeffrey. Uh, I am Granite Rock's general counsel uh, and I've been with Granite Rock for seven years. When Bruce came to me with the idea for the Algebra Academy program, uh, I was inspired. Um, Bruce is someone who you know, I, I believe he measured his life not by how much money he made, but by how many people he could touch um, and how he could help improve people's lives in the community. Uh, and I saw this Algebra Academy as a tremendous example of that. Bruce didn't just help found the Algebra Academy. Um, he was involved with the students every single day. Um, he really wanted to get to know them, sat down at the lunch table with them every day. Uh, I think the funniest story I have from Bruce's involvement with the Algebra Academy um, was that Bruce really believed that these kids should drink milk. It was good for them to drink milk uh, during their lunch break uh, every day during the Algebra Academy. And he literally walked around with a carton of, of small milk containers, um, just pleading with the kids to have, have their milk for the day and, and uh, give them energy to get through it. You know, and in the process, he really just lightened the mood and. and started conversations with the kids and, and really got to know them, which I you know, thought was just uh, a really special aspect of the program. My name is Jana Schaefer and I'm an executive assistant and office support manager at Granite Rock Company. I've been with the company for 43 years. I first met Bruce when he was a senior in high school and he was a rather shy young man at the time. His work ethic was indescribable. His half day was seven in the morning till seven at night. And, you know, that's just how he was. Um, he, he gave us, he gave me a lot of opportunities, learning opportunities, uh, as well as to other people in the company. Bruce made me feel as a friend, part of the family, and was always willing to help me or anyone else that needed it. My name is Keith Severson and I'm the Marketing Services Manager for Granite Rock. I've been here for over 16 years. I was really impressed with Bruce's vision. Uh, we, I was an entrepreneur and his ability to encapsulate entrepreneurship and visionary leadership was just remarkable. And uh, it, was, it was a magical moment for me when I got to meet Bruce the first time. The things that stand out in my mind about Bruce over my career was his consistency of message and in spite of being incredibly cerebral he had a heart of gold. He took care of people on a very very human level and he expected people to be uh, absolutely the best. He, he inspired people to be um, all that they could be and, and exceed their own expectations. I am so happy that I had him in my life. My name is Nancy Austin. Just prior to leaving Hewlett Packard, I met Bruce Wolpert. And Bruce was running a division and doing it very well. When I met Bruce, I thought, he's serious, 
He's so soft-spoken and he's leading a division because there's this tendency that when you hear that someone is this incredibly gifted leader, that they're also extroverted and they're about to break into song any minute and, or tap dance at least. And that was the last thing that Bruce was. What he cared about in his marrow was finding a way to honor people through the work that he did in, in that order. It wasn't, oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna make a profit and you know maybe we're gonna treat people well. That was not what he was about ever. And even from the first time I met him, I thought there's something really special about this guy, Bruce Wolpert. I'm so thankful that I knew him for as long as I did. And I, as Roseanne was telling me just the other day, uh, I like a lot of the Granite Rock people can still hear Bruce in our heads telling us or asking us questions. Is this the best you can do? Have you thought about this? What about that? What about this? Can, what can we learn? What can we contribute? And I hope, I hope, I hope that always stays in my head.